Is this about to be a disaster? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris and here we talk about business, candle making, and how to boss up. And today, we're going TikTok, okay? I'm going to be trying some TikTok candle making trends right here, right now. These are things that I'll introduce onto my website, but they are some things that I did want to try. So I thought I'd bring you guys along on the journey. So let's get into it. try to make are these beautiful body candles these silhouette candles I love them from the first day that I saw them I was like I need one okay I need one of those but I don't know if you guys are like me but if I see something that I, that I like I'm gonna try to make it myself to see if it's something that I can finish instead of paying for it okay so I found a mold and I'm going to try and make it all right, so what makes this complicated is the fact that there is literally no hole for the wick. So I'm probably going to use a CD6 wick, but there's literally no hole. So... <laughs> so I have to figure out how to make a hole in this. The neck is there. Okay. So boom. But the tricky part is that I need to create a hole small enough for the wick to fit and also small enough so that there's no leaking when I pour the wax. This is the only mold that I have. So, oh, I have an exacto knife. It's real sharp. I need to be really careful. So, I want to kind of get in the sweet spot. The I guess not the sweet spot. Because this mold is curved because of the body. Like there's an arch in the back. There's another mold that I do have, but it's very explicit. And it's not giving what I want it to give, okay? I'm not trying to make sex candles. But, okay, 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 okay. I can see through it kind of. So I'm going to make a hole here. By oh, the knife is loose. So I punctured the hole. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Uh, I can't really see where the hole is. Like it's so small. I'm just making a bigger hole, but cutting through the silicone. Cause I need a bigger hole. I don't have patience no more. I'm willing to risk it all. Alright. I'm, I'm like a heartbeat away from giving up. So. Whew! I'm going to try this again. The hole is bigger. So hopefully like it does something. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! <laughs> okay. This is definitely going to leak though. <laughs> So we got it through because Lord knows your girl was about to throw in the towel. I think it's going to leak though because the hole is way bigger. So I put the wick through. I'm centering it. So as you can see, the wick is um, right where the body ends. Okay. So how am I going to lay this? Y'all, this is about to, I, I'm going to let you know right now. This is about to be a mess. But Okay. We did that. I am going to use some dye for the first, not for the first time, but I'm going to use the dye. You know, my body got to be brown skin. I have some dye right here. It's a brown liquid dye. So we're going to use this. So I'm just going to throw some. That was way more than an ounce. But we're going to let that marinate. Turn the heat up. Crank the heat up. I'm so excited. But while that is doing that, let's make another candle too so there is another beautiful candle that i've seen on tiktok that i have also wanted to try so we're gonna give this a go too so i'm gonna do two candles at once um but like this um like 
have this, um, what do they call it? Like this mold. It doesn't have a hole where the wick can go through. So I'm going to make another hole. So. The wick ending where the jar is. So I'm actually going to loop this. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to loop this to make a knot. And then call that one a day. I don't know how this is going to stand up though. Okay. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't leak. What I'm going to put in, I'm going to put a wick bar to help it stand up. This mold is kind of flimsy. So we're just going to hope for the best. Okay. So that stands up. Perfect. Okay. And we're going to trim this off once um, once it's done and stuck fizzle. So the wax has melted. I'm going to add some paraffin wax to this wax because I want it to be a little, you know, soy wax is a little ugly. About two ounces of uh, pear soy. Okay. And now is the waiting game. So I'm going to make this candle brown, this candle white, and then do I have any other colors? I have a black color, I guess. What else? I'm so excited. The next candle that we'll be making is one that your girl had to get, your girl had to get on. It was so cute. When I saw it, I was just like, I need to make sure I recreate this. I don't know if this is like standard like heat temperature glass, like a special glass that can tolerate a certain type of heat. But baby, these glasses are cute. If you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say. If you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say, okay? These are double glass, like, Double wall glasses. If you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say. If you know, you know. I know if you're on TikTok, you have seen this. If you know, baby, you know. I had to hop on this trend. These glasses are so cute. So why not give it a go? So we're gonna pour all these waxes when the time comes. And just know, my bet is on this. My bet is on this one right here. So I put my wig sticker on and I'm just going to attach it to, and I'm just going to attach it to the glass. I'm so hyped. These are so cute. Okay. I'm going to get my wig bar, hold the wig in place, and we're going to make these like we make our everyday candles, okay? So the wax is still melting the parasoy wax. So we're making a few candles right now. Out of these three, my favorite ones that I've seen on TikTok have been the body. And this one was super cute because y'all know how hard it's been to find candle jars. Everybody sold out or there's just not a lot of cute options. And when I saw this, it was very simple, but it was very cute. It was, it was a spin on simple, you know, it was elegant, okay? It reminded me of a wine glass. It's an espresso glass. It's like a, yeah, this that's what they call them, espresso glasses, I guess. Um, but it's double walled. And I love the, those double wall glasses. So these two in the body, my favorite. So I am going to be pouring my wax into this pouring pitcher. Okay, I don't have no type of measurements. I'm sure there is a method to this madness, but this is my first time, so I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna pour, pour, pour. I'm gonna pour it this way, actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> this isn't enough wax. So, what I'm going to do is just pour all of this in here. 
And this is going to be for the white candles for now. So this is, well, I don't know, I want to do the body too. I'm trying to imagine me pouring these. And I want to use dye. So I don't know which one is which. I don't know. Okay. I don't want to make too much of the wax for the body. So this is way too much wax for the body, definitely. Unless, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to pour the wax into here first to see what it do. Hopefully the glass, the glass don't crack. Um, that would be horrible. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. This is cute. It's winning me over, y'all. I think I might have enough for this. I'm so scared to pour this. I'm just going to be honest. I'm scared it's going to leak. Oh, please don't leak. Please don't leak. It's leaking, y'all. It's leaking. It's leaking slowly, though. It's hot. It just leaked on me. I'm nervous about the body, to say the least. <laughs> this is a fail. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a big hole. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like, I just need this to dry at this point. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this off to the side. It is kind of warm. Put this over here. For it to cool, I feel like it'll take a while for it to cool. It looks so pretty. I can't wait to show you guys the end product. Okay, now on to the body. I'm very nervous about the body because of what happened to the square. What happened to the bubbles. Um, is this about to be a disaster? I don't know. But we're going to try. body I'm gonna put a drop of liquid dye I got this dye from candle science well here we go I put four five oh this stinks I put about four or five droplets oh this is This look purple. I think I put too much. Okay now. We ain't scared now. Let me line my table. Let me line my table with paper towels. Cause if this spills, we got problem. Paper towels. I want this to be straight. So I'm putting a little tension to help keep it straight. And we're pouring. I'm so nervous. It's spilling, y'all. It is spilling. Anybody got time for this, bruh? I am nervous, bro. I do not want this to go through. This might have to go in the fridge, too. Y'all, what's happening? It's spilling a lot. I could tell because the top not full no more. And I can't let it go.
This is not good. Put the body in the paper towel. Top it off because she needs to be topped off. Okay. I thought that was going to be easier than it looked. I was wrong. And we're going to see how this comes out. Okay. We're here together. We are here together. Well, I will come back with you guys. I will come back to you guys once these are all cured and ready to be shown off. So I'm thinking it'll probably be in a few hours. Maybe in like an hour I'll come back um, when everything is all cooled down and ready to be shown. So I could sh I'll show you all this mess I made, okay? Because... Y'all saw the mess it was. Hey y'all, so it's been a few days, you know, cause your girl kind of forgot I was still filming a video. So I definitely wanted to come here and show you guys the reveal of these candles that I made. And as y'all remember, it's been a mess. So, we just gonna get into it. So the first candle that I'm gonna show you guys is going to be the double walled candle. And this came out so beautiful, y'all. So y'all, tell me how you feel, okay? I do have my fingerprints on them, but this came out so beautiful. I'm definitely going to try to uh, light this and see how it lights. Because if I like it, your girl might start selling these because it came out so amazing. The top is so flat. Like I said, I started pouring at a cooler temperature than I normally start pouring at. But look at this. Okay, baby is looking good. Okay, the next candle I'm gonna go from from best to worst. Okay, from best to worst. So the next candle that we're gonna do is the bubble candle. Well, what was supposed to be the bubble candle, but apparently I got the wrong um, mold. So it's completely dry. It seems even to me. Okay, well, so I'm loosening it up here. And I am just, ooh, okay. Oh, this looks so pretty. Wait, how did it come out this way? Oh, oh, okay. This came out so cute. I just gotta figure out how to get this uh, top off. Oh, boom. Okay, baby, this came out so cute. It's a little uneven because I didn't fill it up entirely to the top, so the circles are a little bit cut off. But look, I am shook. Okay, okay, so it's two out of three. Two out of three, not bad. The last candle that we made was this beautiful body shaped candle, the silhouette, okay? And honey, she's brown skin, okay? And I did end up having to put her in a glass because um, she was leaking. A world where, maybe I'll just pull her down. straight broke the body in half. How did it happen? I can just put the wick back on it. 
Y'all, I'm shook. Well, the idea was nice, but do I even like this? It's kind of cute. I'm so mad at myself. I'm so impatient. Okay, well, I knew this one was going to be bad. But it's not too bad. Clearly, this came out a mess, but the shape is kind of cute. Thank you for watching this video. I am definitely trying to get into some new things. I know this was a total mess, but I at least wanted to try because I love some of these trends. I wanted to show you guys what some of these trends are looking trends are looking like if you're not on TikTok. And there's so many cute options. So let me know what you guys think in the comments because I no the body was a fail but this right here baby this right here was a win for me and also this bubble this bubble came out so cute so let me know what you guys think and i will see you in the next video bye